What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Zion Smooth 4, which is a standout smartphone gimbal in a very crowded market. This is the first gimbal that I've tried from Zion, but I do have some experience using other smartphone gimbals like the first and second DJI Osmo Mobile, both of which I loved, but using this has been a breath of fresh air. Now if you aren't familiar with my reviews, I like to break things down into sections to organize things, so if you guys want to jump around, I'll have the timestamps down in the description. To start things off, let's discuss the design. The first thing I want to touch on is the case that it comes with which is made of a strong styrofoam and it's just so perfect. I love when I get a new device and it comes with a case, like a usable case at that. Now inside you can fit everything that it comes with, like the Smooth itself, the USB-C charging cable, and a small tripod. Now I don't use the tripod all that often just because I'm usually shooting on the move getting smooth footage, but it certainly helps to use as a stand when I'm charging the gimbal or just getting it set up. I also find myself using the tripod as an extended handle, so when I screw it on tightly I can grip the gimbal with two hands for better control. Okay, now onto the design of the gimbal itself. Starting things off up at the top where the smartphone attaches there's a small latch that locks the arm in place so it doesn't swing around which low-key might be one of my favorite things about this gimbal it really makes it easy to carry around if you don't have it in its case now we have the option to shoot with this gimbal horizontally or vertically which seems to be what every new smartphone gimbal is doing and I like it because I can get some sweet shots for Instagram stories by shooting vertically if I want to now the way that the phone attaches though is one of my least favorite things about this gimbal like you have to try and pry the clamp open with both hands. There's no way to loosen it with a knob. It works, but it just feels cheap. Moving down, we have what Zion calls the control panel, which contains like 10 different buttons in total, and I like it. It's annoying to try to control everything about your camera and gimbal through the touchscreen, and I find that physical buttons are a lot easier to change and toggle on the fly. On the side is the USB-C port for charging, which let me just say, I'm very happy that they included a USB-C port on here instead of a micro USB port. It seems like all the devices I have, my laptop, my gimbals, some of my other drones, all run off of USB-C now, which is very handy as I've always got a USB-C cable on me. Flipping around to the back side is the dual trigger, which is in the perfect place to take advantage of the two fingers I place back there for support just to make shooting on the go easier. The first DJI Osmo Mobile had this trigger, but then they got rid of it on the second, which was a huge mistake. Like it is in the perfect spot to place a multi-function button. Now swinging things around to the left side, we have this huge wheel, which no other smartphone gimbal has. This is new to the smooth gimbal series and has two different functions. By default, you can change the focus by rotating the wheel but if you press this bottom left circle, it will illuminate, thus changing the wheel to control zoom instead. You can get great rack focus shots where something in the foreground is out of focus, then comes into focus, and you can also zoom in or out smoothly while shooting. Now the battery on the Smooth 4 is built in, it's inside of the handle of the gimbal, so it's not swappable, but it does have a capacity of 2000 milliamp hours, which provides up to 12 hours of shooting time. Personally, I've had no problem with the battery life and easily keeping it topped off with the USB-C charging port as I'm on the go. I know some people might probably want a removable battery, something like on the original Osmo Mobile, where you could just swap batteries on the fly, not have to worry about keeping them charged. But in my opinion, 12 hours of shooting time is great, and the fact that you can charge with USB-C makes it even easier to keep it topped off. So as a whole, the entire body of the Smooth 4 is made of a high quality, durable plastic. I've had no problems with damage. Sometimes I strap this thing to the outside of my backpack just so I don't take up room inside of my bag and I don't have to carry around the big case or the bulky case. But the one thing about this is it's not really that comfortable to hold. Something like the Osmo Mobile has a grip that feels conformed to my hand, like it just feels comfortable to hold, but the Smooth has this symmetrical design that looks great, but sometimes can be uncomfortable to hold. Overall, the design is great. I'm not gonna nitpick on any Anything. The materials used are top notch, but an ergonomic grip can go a long way. Now let's get into the part of the video I'm sure everybody is probably wanting to see, and that is some test footage shot with the Smooth 4. Now the smartphone I'm using is just the iPhone 10. I shot 4K 60 FPS sometimes, 4K 30 FPS the other times. I never shoot in 1080p. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys some of those clips, and in the background, talk about what I think about the camera and gimbal kind of working together. So like with any gimbal, it's smooth. I mean, I don't think that there's one gimbal that is necessarily smoother than the other, but I feel like I have more confidence when shooting with this gimbal. I know it sounds weird, but I just like shooting with it over either of the Osmo Mobiles that I own. Now I got an opportunity to really take advantage of portrait mode shooting when putting together a fitness video for my buddy Greg's Instagram. Now because of the way Instagram works, vertical video just looks best on the platform, so I took advantage of being able to shoot in portrait mode. Also, the scene was pretty high action. I was whipping around them as fast as possible without tripping, and the gimbal performed great. Nonetheless, 
most smartphone gimbals, most smartphone cameras are great when pairing it with the Zhiyun Smooth 4, and it's going to take your videos to the next level, eliminating all of the shake. Another thing that I've noticed in my time shooting with the Smooth 4 is the range of motion. The rectangular shape of any smartphone makes placing it in a gimbal awkward, but you can really move the Smooth 4 in any angle and not hit any dead space where the gimbal won't move any further. This gives you more shooting options from lower angles. Overall, I've really enjoyed my time shooting with the Smooth 4 so far, including my iPhone 10, and really any smartphone camera you pair with this gimbal right now, it's going to give you awesome footage. Sort of staying on this topic of smartphones and gimbals, the companion application used with the Zion Smooth 4 is pretty standard. It looks a lot like the DJI GO app. I mean, it's basically a carbon copy, but I'm not talking about the new DJI GO 4 app. I'm referring to the older one that is used with the Osmo series. Now, in my opinion, I actually think that it works better. So for instance, you can customize down to the number how fast you want the gimbal to move. Whereas with the DJI GO app, you can only choose between walk mode and sport mode. Overall, there's just a lot more customization. Usually, I have have a lot more to say about the companion applications that are used with the devices I review just because it's such a key part in kind of like the use of the actual gimbal but I find myself using the stock iOS camera app a lot more when I'm shooting with any gimbal so if it's the Osmo mobile I'm shooting with the stock iOS camera app if I'm shooting with the Zion smooth 4 it's gonna be with the stock iOS camera app and it's not because I don't like these applications but I feel like there's just a little bit too much going on and I like the fact that I can just go ahead shoot it saves right to my camera roll and from there I can like airdrop to my computer to edit or something like that. So with any new device that comes out, whether it's a gimbal, a smartphone, a drone, I mean really anything, it's going to have its own special set of features that try to make it stand out from the crowd. Now in terms of software features, it's basically got all of the same run-of-the-mill smartphone gimbal features. We've got things like long exposure photos, panoramic photos, time lapses, but the knob on the side of the gimbal is easily its unique selling point. Now I don't find myself using that knob on the side to set the focus of my camera just because autofocus is pretty reliable on most smartphones, but zoom is a different story. Now because that wheel is a smooth spinning wheel, the zoom is also super smooth. So this allows you to take vertigo shots, or as I like to call them, dolly zooms. So I think that that's basically it. That's all that I had to say about the Zion Smooth 4. It's a great gimbal. It goes for $139. Uh, you can go ahead, check out their website. I'll leave a link down in the description. You'll get the case, you'll get the gimbal, you'll get the little tripod, the small little tripod, and then also you get a USB-C charging cable. Overall, it's probably one of, if not the best smartphone gimbal that you can buy right now. It's my personal favorite over the Osmo Mobile series, which I've got a review coming on those soon, the Osmo Mobile 2. I've had it for a couple of months. I just haven't gotten the chance to use it. But personally, again, I think the Zion Smooth 4 is my favorite right now. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.